Hello, Salesforce developers. My name is Danielle Laregi, and I'm a senior developer advocate here at Salesforce. This YouTube video is a very special video because it kicks off our data cloud series on YouTube. So we are gonna have a lot of videos coming in the next few weeks about data cloud. But this video in particular is going to give you an introduction to the data cloud platform. It's gonna talk about some special use cases as well as a high level overview of what the data cloud platform can do. So stay tuned developers. Let's get started. If you were at Trailblazer DX or one of our world tours recently, you may have heard about AI and data and CRM. Our product teams have been really working hard since announcing Data Cloud back at Dreamforce and Einstein GPT back at Trailblazer DX to get a lot of product innovations into recent releases so that you can start transforming customer experiences by connecting the power of AI and data and CRM. And this may actually be why you're here today, tuning into this video to learn more about Data Cloud. But before we get right into Data Cloud, let's set the stage a little bit. At this very moment, we know that there are teams in your organization that are being asked to do more with less. And you may be one of those people sitting at your tablet or device, nodding your head right now in agreement. Many of these people are looking for ways to save time. And companies today are saving time of technology resources with a unified data solution. In fact, they are saving 67% of tech resources time by freeing them up with modern data unification solutions. Additionally, companies are also looking for ways to reduce costs. And 79% of companies have achieved cost reduction with artificial intelligence. Way to go, AI! And finally, many companies are looking for ways to increase productivity. And currently, 77% of companies are saving more than two hours a week across each line of business by automating repetitive tasks. I personally hate spending time on repetitive tasks that are not value-added tasks. And if you're watching this video in 2023, then you know there's a lot of pressures on the market, such as inflation, that are affecting the way companies are doing business today. But before we can start with the data cloud, we first need to start with data. But having access to better data has not been getting any easier. In fact, there's more data in the world than ever before, and it is growing faster than ever before. Think about everything you do or interact with in your life today. This can be tracking your fitness and health data. I myself like to track my steps and workouts. All of your customer data is being generated and stored somewhere. Companies are no longer measuring data by thousands, but by hundreds of zettabytes. And that's all data sitting in different systems, waiting for someone or something to do something with that data. In order to make that data useful, companies need to learn how to harness this data and use it to build exceptional customer experiences. Doing this takes a tremendous amount of time from your IT teams. In fact, 36% of IT's time is spent designing, building, and testing custom integrations across systems. If you have ever been on a project with multiple integrations, you may already be reliving the amount of lost hours of sleep you had while on that project. And also, these integrations are expensive to maintain. It can be a pain to add more information to the integration. Changes can disrupt or even break the integrations, but still, Having access to the many disparate data sources stored across systems is very vital. Now you may be wondering, what are some other use cases for which I might need a data cloud? Well, you might need a data cloud if you say some of these things. For example, maybe you are a developer working for a B2C business whose marketing department is trying to deliver more personalized customer experiences. Or perhaps you are a developer at a company that just merged with another company and you need to see data across multiple Salesforce orgs. Or how about just needing to get a single view of your customer and their data across multiple Salesforce systems and legacy systems? You may not have realized it until now, but there are a wide variety of different use cases and things you may say indicating that you need data cloud in your solution. This is where Salesforce data cloud comes in. It starts by connecting to all of your customer data, then harmonizing and unifying all of this data into a single view of your customers. It's this single source of truth that helps teams really know and understand their customers' activities, their preferences, and needs as they interact with your business. Because Data Cloud is open and extensible, 
With our partner ecosystem, you can connect your data cloud to the best of our partner apps and capabilities to discover new use cases. For example, we have been working with Google Ads, Amazon, Meta, and Snowflake to bring new functionality to the data cloud platform. Additionally, with Amazon SageMaker, you have the ability to bring your own AI model to the data cloud platform. We also have a variety of app exchange partners that have been working on a variety of functionality that can be used in the data cloud platform. So I'm sure by now we've built up all of your anticipation and you want to know how all of this actually works. We first connect to all of your data sources to bring them together. We support a number of out of the box connectors, such as connectors to every Salesforce cloud, such as sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud, and commerce cloud. We also are able to connect data from Google Cloud Storage, Amazon S3, and more recently, Azure as of April 27th, 2023. There is the ability to pull in data in near real time with streaming data from web and mobile sources. There's also the ability to pull in data from APIs, integrated with MuleSoft via the AnyPoint platform. These connectors help to bring external data from legacy systems or data lakes. After connecting all of your data from the numerous data sources, we must harmonize your data. We ingest and transform your data in streaming or batches. The challenge is that the data that is coming in is not yet uniformed. For example, users are called contacts in sales and service cloud while they are referred to as subscribers in marketing cloud and possibly something else in a connected legacy system. We use a variety of data models and data cloud to harmonize the data. After harmonizing the data, we use identity resolution to bring identities together and create a 360 view of each customer. Once this is done, you have a real-time unified profile that you can use with AI and BI tools for predictive insights such as AI models, recommendations, and data visualizations. And finally, you can act on this data. You can use one of the many activation targets, data actions, or flows that are available to start creating actions from your data. I encourage you to continue your learning beyond this video. So I've listed three resources to help you continue learning. The first resource, Data Cloud Quick Look, is a trail on our Trailhead site, which is our free learning platform for trailblazers. About Data Cloud is documentation listed on our help.salesforce.com site. And finally, Introducing Data Cloud is a blog post on our Salesforce developers blog. And we would love for you to connect with us by visiting our developer.salesforce.com website to view developer documentation, as well as blogs and other cool stuff. Also, we would love for you to join our dev community so that you can get connected with other developers like yourself. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, as well as to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to connect with us on LinkedIn as well. Well, developers, we covered a lot. We talked about data ingestion, data harmonization, as well as data activation. And don't you worry, we have a lot more topics and we're gonna be doing a much deeper dive over the next few videos. I would encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you know when those videos are coming out. Once again, my name is Danielle Laregi. I'm a senior developer advocate here at Salesforce and thank you for tuning into this video.